Say that I need you. I pour out. 
Relationship brings a love affair. Anybody remember this this morning? Right here. This is submission. Worship is submission. The things we do for God is submission. Raising your hands. I'm not saying that you have to raise your hand in order to worship. What I'm saying is, is that this is an offering to God. This is saying I'm willing to offer this to you. Clapping is an offering to God. And the more we offer to God, the more God responds to that offering, the more he starts to dive in and start digging in because he realizes, hey, look, this person's given me a heart to work with. This person has given me something to work with. We're offering and he's offering back. He's saying, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you is what it says. Amen. So if you're drawing near to God, you're raising your hands, you're shouting out for God, you're calling on him, you're clapping your hands, you're doing the things that that Israel did before they went into war. You're worshiping. How many of y'all know they sent the worshipers before the war? You see, every Sunday morning we come into church and we think, oh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to listen to a message. I'm going to do this. This right here this morning is war. This is where we gather up. And, and I was in the Army. I was a soldier for, for a little while. And whenever I was in the Army, what they would do is they would gather us up and they would tell us all the stuff we needed to know. And then they would send us out. See, this is your gathering area. You are the army of God. Amen. See, we're not fighting people. We're fighting for people. And what we need to know is what's even more in depth than just a physical being. We have to understand the way people work. We have to understand the way God works for people. This is what church is for. Thank you so much. But the Lord... Uh, the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. Praise God. Wow, oh, you could hear that, dude. <laughs> That's cool. I, uh, I planned that. I meant to do it, you know. So we have to walk a relationship with Christ where we can see him and we maintain vision of him. Maintain, what I, here, here's what I'm getting at. Watch his hand in your life. That's maintaining vision of God. Watch what he's doing. Pay attention. You know, because we think that he's not moving sometimes, and that's not true. We're just not looking. So when we're watching God, <clears throat> when we're watching God, it's easier for us because Jesus is the way. He's showing us the way. We have to know the truth. In a fire, you have to know everything will be okay. You can't freak out. One of the things that um, <clears throat> I tell my fighters, you know, um, I, if you don't know, I train fighters and stuff out of Jacksonville. And, well, not in a long time, but I used to train fighters and stuff out of Jacksonville to go do cage matches and stuff like that. And one of the things that would happen inevitably in every, uh, in basically every round, there would come a point where my fighter would become overwhelmed. Right? He would just become overwhelmed. And I'd have to yell at him, all right, think clear, think clear. You know what I mean? Trust what you know, you know, because you can see them, they're, they're freaking out. And the first thing I teach them is get into a safe place, get your head clear, and then fight your way out of the situation. You know, some, and, and a lot of getting to that safe place is knowing where that safe place is. And if you're not read up on the word and you're not following God closely, you can't find those safe places in the trial. 
How many of you guys know that when you get before the Lord and you're worshiping God and you're giving God praise and you're telling God how wonderful he is and what he can do for you in your life and you accept what God can do for you in your life, that the devil has to take a step back and he has to recover. Anybody in here know that this morning? Can I get an amen? Come on. See, God is good, but the only thing is, is that God says, I will if you will. I will if you will come before me. I will if you would just accept the Spirit's move in your life.